much. And for more on this, we're now joined by Senator John McCain uh, in Washington. Thank you for joining us this morning, Senator. And we just heard Jake go through the agenda the president made. Uh, an opening bid yesterday, he moved the, your way on this freeze of all pay for federal workers. Are you prepared to move the president's way on any items on his agenda? Well, what I would hope that we could do is agree to the extension of the tax uh, cuts uh, at all levels and also uh, reach some agreement on moving forward with the STAR Treaty as well. Um, I think that uh, that is uh, a serious uh, result that could uh, could in, could could uh, ensue from the uh, meeting today, uh, and I would point out that the election was about tax cuts, the economy, and jobs. That's what it was about. It wasn't about the Dream Act. It wasn't about don't ask, don't tell. It was about the tax cuts give some confidence to businesses, large and small, that uh, they will have some surety and confidence about what their financial situation will be in the coming year, and hopefully we can move let's, forward on let, that. Let's talk about the tax cuts, because the Democrats now seem to be prepared to compromise at least a bit before they were saying extend the tax cuts only for Americans earning under $250,000. Now they're saying, many of them are saying they're willing to move that ceiling up to a million dollars, that the tax cuts would expire only for Americans who make more than a million dollars a year. Here's Senator Claire McCaskill on that. Well, I think we should draw the line in the sand for millionaires. Honestly, with all the talk and, and the righteous indignation about the deficit, are we really going to hold up tax cuts for all of America just for the millionaires? What's the answer to that? The answer to that is let's give everybody confidence in the future that they can invest, they can hire, uh, understandably the, uh, the amount of money that corporations and businesses are sitting on is at an all-time high. They, we want to give them the confidence that there will not but be any tax increase. But do Americans making tax more than increase. a million dollars a year really need or a tax cut Or a billion right dollars, now? or a billion dollars, or ten billion dollars. What we're doing here is trying to find some level where the populism will take over. The fact is that we don't want to raise anybody's taxes in a time of economic recession that we're in. And that's the fundamental principle that we are adhering to. And we believe that's the message that the American people sent to get some confidence into businesses, large and small, as to what their future will be so that they can invest and hire. You said you also wanted to see action on this START Treaty. It's your uh, colleague from Arizona, Senator John Kyle, who said he does not prepare to vote on it uh, this year. But as you know, many even Republican former secretaries of state and defense have said this is vital to America's national security. Can a compromise be reached before the end of this year? I hope so. Uh, I have some concerns about missile defense. In fact, I'm a little disturbed at the news this morning that tactical nuclear weapons have been moved uh, uh, closer to uh, Europe uh, than uh, by the Russians. But that is not directly related to the START Treaty, but certainly is an indication of the need to have verification. The, uh, I believe that we could move forward with the START Treaty and satisfy Senator Kyle's concerns and mine about missile defense and others, and uh, I hope that we could this do that. This year? But I would hope so. I would hope so. But Senator Kyle's concerns are very legitimate, and I think they are, that attempts are being made to address them. Finally, sir, you know, on WikiLeaks, I know you think that leak is deplorable, but I'm wondering, is, it, is there anything that can be done about it? Well, first of all, let's go back to the principle of need to know. Why would a private first class have access to all of this it's a very information? Good question. Somebody is responsible for that, and it isn't just the private first class. They should, they should be held accountable and responsible for a change. We should make sure that we have the fixes in, that we have confidence that that information will not be disseminated except for those who need to know. And uh, uh, frankly, I'm worried about the additional uh, information that WikiLeaks apparently has and how much damage that will do to America's national security. Let's fix the problem, hold people responsible, and make sure that this kind of thing never happens again. Okay, Senator McCain, thanks very much for your time this morning. Thanks for having me on, George. And it is